Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, thanks for checking out today's video. I hope you had an amazing Christmas um, and you ate lots of food. I definitely did. <laughs> um, so today I thought it would be fun to do a what I got for Christmas video. I can't remember if I did one last year or the year before. I did one. Um, but I really enjoy watching these videos. Um, it's just really entertaining. It's really cool to see what other people got for Christmas. Um, and basically, yeah, just no other reason that I thought uh, you would enjoy it. I want to start off by saying I am incredibly grateful for everything I've got this year. Um, I've been thoroughly spoiled and I want to say a massive thank you to anyone that wished me Merry Christmas, sent me or my family a card or a present. Um, I just really appreciate it. Um, the cards, I'm probably going to do like a little panning shot because we've got given quite a lot of cards. Um, so I'll probably include a shot in a minute of all the cards. There'll probably be a few photos inserted throughout the video as well. Because some things I can't show you. Um, because it's too big or... Yeah, well it's too big, basically. Um, <laughs> um, I did also get given quite a bit of chocolate. Or our family did get given quite a bit of chocolate or biscuits or whatever. Um, unfortunately I cannot show them because they have been eaten. But um, I'd like to say that as well, so thank you for that. Um, like I said, I did stuff my face, <laughs> which was which is very good. I think that's it. So let's get on with the video. So first I will start with the presents my best friend got me. Um, I will start off with this one. Ooh, the Soap and Glory Sofa Heroes. Oh, I just realised it said sofa. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. And this is what it looks like, this tin. Uh, fun story actually, I saw this in Boots when I was looking for presents to get others. I saw that, I was like, oh, that looks really good. Like I really want it, but come on, we're here to get presents for other people. Um, so when I opened this, she got me this, it made me so happy. I was like, oh my god, I, know. I literally nearly bought that for myself. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> um, and in size, you get, oh, well, these things here in the corner. I will show you. I think I took out the hand food because the hand food is one of my favourite hand creams. So I just put it in my work bag. Or was it in there? Did I put it back in? I did put it back in. I put it back in to show you. Well done, past Hannah. You were organised for once. <laughs> so, yes. So this is what the... Oh, it smells so lovely. You've got the inside. So, we have um, the righteous butter, which is... Ooh, ooh, a body butter. I just love soap and glory smell, it's so good. Soap and glory smell, is that? I don't think that made sense. <laughs> Scrub of your life. Hand food, which I'm gonna put a bit on now. So nice. Mm. I've gone through so many of these hand foods. Nice. And then a clean on me, um, what's it called, shower gel. Um, I had a big one of them and I think I've just run out so that's really handy, I've got that one. And then we've got some sample sizes of Sugar Crush, which is one of my favourites. And what's this? Rich and Famous, which I don't think I've tried before, so I'm excited to use that. And then in the shape of stars, which makes me very happy. So that's that one. Where have I put the lid? Oh, it was underneath the whole time. Oh dear. I'm a bit confused today. So then the next thing um, is a A5 light box which makes me incredibly excited because, again, this was another thing I was going to buy myself. See, my best friend just knows me so well um, and I'm going to put it in the backgrounds of all my videos from now on and I'm probably, I haven't decided what I'm going to put yet, probably like the Hannah Tutti and some like emojis, maybe like a music symbol and a heart or something. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I've had to restrain myself and keep this. I mean, as you can see, this has come off because I have to have a look in. But I've restrained myself from setting up properly so I could show it all to you all new and nice before I got my hands into it. Um, so that's really exciting, so there's that one. Next I'll go on to what my dad and stepmom bought me. So the first thing I want to show you, um, you've probably seen this in an Instagram post because I'm planning to use it for my picture on the Instagram post for this. Um, it's this really beautiful card um, and the reason I want to show you that is because my stepmom actually drew uh, this picture of this deer, um, isn't she so talented? It's just, oh my goodness, look at that. I want to make sure you can see it nice and clear. How amazing is that? Wow. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that because I just think it's absolutely amazing. She's so incredibly talented. I will show you this one. I'm really excited about this because it's going to fit into my room 
perfectly it's the same like color scheme as my room and i'm going to display this and it is a h notebook and it's that kind of teal cyan color and i'm going to display that it really beautiful devon made bookmark i believe it is a handmade one as well um in case you're interested there's some details at the bottom there if you want to check them out so i don't know if you can see that very well hopefully you can um on facebook they're devon made and twitter they're at devon made gen all one word i'm gonna just open this so i can show you a bit clearer because i think the plastic's kind of glaring off a little bit how pretty is that i hope you can see that okay um but i'm really excited to use that because i've got lots of uh, new books lined up that i'm going to read so that will come in really handy and then these two i'm not exaggerating when i say i've been using them every single day we've got a d paloma palomo protective hand and nail cream we've got a set here and there is a fig and grape hand cream that we always test when i can't remember exactly what it's to there's quite a lot of fig and grape hand creams that i always have to try out um but my dad recommended i try this one i don't know if it was the same brand or not i can't remember um but it's a really lovely scent um so i think they got that one because the thick and grape was included which makes me so happy these oh, they smell amazing so we've got fig and grape this one i've been using nearly every day it's the black cherry almond so lovely the white grape with aloe and orange blossom with wild honey and olive super super lovely i'm so excited about all of them i adore hand creams and i adore those scents and it makes me really happy they chose it because they knew um i like the fig and grape so there is that one and the other one i've been using every day is this m s lip balm trio as you can see the the uh, packaging is kind of like christmasy it's quite lovely um and you can hang it like a little stocking which is really cute so you get three in here obviously trio come on hannah <laughs> try and open this right so we have um cocoa bean and that's the one i've been using most days shea butter or she no it is shea butter isn't it and coconut um and they're really really lovely in fact i'm actually gonna put some that shea one on right now i know i've got lipstick on but hey I should probably just check I don't have a lipstick on my teeth now because knowing my luck I definitely will okay if you see lipstick on my teeth you have to shout <laughs> I probably won't hear you until after the video but you know at least you got my back I'll be your friend I'll help you carry on so the next things I'll show you together because I feel like they go together quite nicely um, the first thing is a make things happen 2018 planner I absolutely love it. And look at that cover. Isn't that so lovely? Um, as you guys know, I can never have too many planners. I absolutely adore planners. Sorry that the lighting is quite different. Um, what happened is I basically filmed my whole video, pretty much. Um, and then I realised they had lipstick all over my face. And at first I was kind of like, ah, mm, it's not horrendous. I might just leave it. Then I realised it was on my teeth too. And I was like, mm, okay, great. Um, so... <laughs> I saved as much footage as I can and I just thought well I'll just go back over the stuff which unfortunately is the majority <laughs> um, that I had lipstick everywhere in. Um, if it does look a bit stained on my mouth I have cleaned it up it's just stained a bit. Um, future note to myself don't wear this lipstick for videos. Hello Indy. My dog Indy has come to see what's going on. Hello gorgeous. I don't know if you can see her little head. Come on come say hi. Come say hi. See look. She's going to sit in her spot to wait until mum comes home for work. Aren't you, baby? So I think I was in the middle of showing you this amazing planner, Make Things Happen 2018, which is really great. Um, as I've mentioned before, I can never have too many planners. I absolutely adore planners. Um, and this will be really great for like everyday notings down, like appointments, when I'm meeting up with friends, that kind of thing. So that'll be really cool. And then I have the most amazing thing to go with it this massive sharpie set look at that i can barely hold it up well it doesn't really matter now because i did film the video so everything doesn't look as pristine as i wanted but i i kept tried to keep everything in this package so it, it all looked um 
perfect when I showed it on the video, but obviously I filmed it once through anyway, so it's not going to, but last night I could not restrain myself and I had to open it up, as you can see, um, and use it with some of my planners, etc. Um, but looks so exciting, and what I said in my previous recording is that me and mum are, we love our stationery, and we get very, like... <laughs> friendly banter possessive of our stationery like that's my stationery you can't use it kind of thing um so i came through and i was like guess what i've got and it's mine ha ah, you can't use it <laughs> um that's the kind of thing we just we do um so yeah that's really cool my mum already has one of these so it's really great to have my own so that's really exciting it's really hard because i'm trying to remember like where i was to what what i filmed in the last like what order i filmed it in so this is really cool this is the remington protect and shine full volume air styler and I've never owned an air styler before and this is just absolutely amazing as you can see it comes with the two different ones and I tried this out the other day I think I must have looked a bit lost like what am I doing I'm not I am not the best at hair so my mum came along she was like oh give it here let me let me sort it for you so she ended up doing my hair and um it added some volume which was really great um I think it's kind of supposed to be like when you've washed your hair and then you like dry it and style it like that um, so that's really wicked. I can't wait to play around more with that. Remington is also a really great brand. I think my hair straighteners are from Remington too, so that's really cool. And then we have this really lovely um, scarf, as you can see. And for those that are interested, it's the brand is Clansman Collection Fine Scottish Clothing. Um, and that's so lovely. Um, really like that. Model it for you. So yeah, really, really lovely scarf. I don't know if I showed you this, this really cute candle that says world's best daughter and it's got a little lady bird in, on, in, <laughs> on, um, not a real one obviously, but um, really cute little handmade candle. I love my candles, anyone that knows me knows how much I love my candles. Sorry at all if my um, whole like manner has changed at all, like I'm still so excited to show you all this, it's just really annoying that I filmed the whole thing. Um, and then I had lipstick all over my face um, and I probably could still upload it but it would just probably annoy everyone including me while looking at it because I want to watch it back um, in the future that's why you know I like to watch my videos back in the future just as a nice like memory capsule and it will annoy me just looking at my lipstick the whole time and then we've got some really lovely books we've got a Michael Mapergo book The Mozart Question and I haven't read this one so I'm really excited to read it I know Michael Mapergo is a really popular author I haven't actually read any of his books yet, so I'm really excited to give this a go. So I'll read this out to you, I'll put that there. Um, when cub reporter Leslie is sent to Venice to interview a world-renowned violinist, the journalist is told she can ask Paolo Levi anything about his life and career as a musician. But on no account must she ask him the Mozart question, never the Mozart question. Paolo, however, has realised he must finally reveal the truth. Um, so that'd be a really interesting read. And then we've got this really cute little book called Do You Love Someone by Joan Walsh Amgland. Um, and as it's quite a short story, I'm gonna, I wanted to read this out to you. It's got a really lovely message from my stepmom inside. Uh, Hannah, Hannah, Merry Christmas, gorgeous daughter, love from uh, my stepmom. So I'm gonna hold it like that and try and read the illustrations because I really want you to see it because it's really beautiful. So the universe is wide and wonderful and filled with many stars. The world is rich and varied and filled with many people. Please feel free to pause it and have a look at the lovely illustrations. And among us, it's hundreds of towns and thousands of homes and millions of people. Each of us is only one. One small person in a world of millions of other people in a universe of billions of other worlds. Knowing this, sometimes we feel very small, sometimes we feel lonely and lost, as though nothing we can do can ever truly matter. Each of us wants to be needed. Each of us wants to be remembered. Oh. I think my brother's won a game. <laughs> Each of us wants to be important in his or her own special way.
There are many different ways to be important in this world. Some people become doctors and heal the sick. Some become farmers and feed the hungry. And some become teachers and share wisdom and knowledge. But you can be a shepherd or a shoemaker or a baker or a barber or a captain or a carpenter or a king. And whatever you are, there is still one thing that matters most. Do you love someone and does someone love you? For the heart is its own world and in that world you are important. And that's what really matters, isn't it? Such a beautiful little book. I'm really, really going to treasure this. I just think it's so lovely. It's just like a nice little reminder, like, you are important, you are loved. It's just just really lovely. Um, so I wanted to read that for you. And I also bought the box of this to remind me to uh, share it with you. I have to insert a picture, a picture, as I've already put it up, um, as it matches my other lights perfectly. And that is the box that some lovely fairy lights came in um, and they are white flowers like my other ones which makes me so happy as they all match it's just great and then also um, two more things um, I'm gonna insert a picture here that is that mum bought me some lovely multicolored storage units which will be absolutely brilliant for getting me organized um, I needed somewhere new to put my makeup so that'd be really great and I think it will fit all my bath stuff, um, so that's really great. And it's got wheels on the bottom, so that'll make it nice and easy to uh, manoeuvre it around my room. <laughs> and then the other thing, I know as if I haven't been thoroughly spoiled enough, um, Dad messaged me to let me know that there was another present coming, um, as it was a late delivery, um, a golden snitch Harry Potter necklace. Oh, so amazing. I'm going to insert a picture here if it comes before I put the video up, but if not, check out my Instagram at the Hannah TT and I will post it up there. Just doing a quick lipstick check. <laughs> I'm so paranoid that it's on my teeth now. Just to let you know though, if it goes on my teeth again, I'm just going to upload it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to film it a third time. I got a um, Debenhams voucher and a lovely bath set from one of my stepbrothers and his daughter. Um, which I am so, I'm so excited to use this because anyone that knows me knows I adore baths. And look at that packaging, it's so lovely. And that is the Luxury Bathing, Bathing, White Grace Bath and Body Trio. And you get a bubble bath, a body wash, and a body creme. So excited, it's got like a little pink marbly effect, it's so cool. And then from my other stepbrother, I got a Love to Shop voucher. I'm so excited to put these two together. Um, because I have a plan. So, I did some digging on the internet and I found out that the Too Faced Peaches and Cream might be coming to Debenhams in 2018 in April. Um, so I'm going to use these lovely vouchers my stepfather's got me and put it towards the, I think it's called the Just Peachy Matte Eyeshadow Palette um, when that comes in, which I'm so excited to, I'm so excited for. So thank you so much. And then I got this lovely um yankee candle festive christmas set which i'm so excited for from my other stepbrother and his partner and their son um look at this so lovely and this is the third time i've had to put this thing back on which is quite hard <laughs> um it's quite hard to do because um, you have to rearrange everything in there like just right um because i really wanted to just give you the full effect of the packaging so you've got this really sparkly packaging and then it shows you the candles on the back and then you slide this off hopefully this is checking my teeth again <laughs> hopefully this is the last time I have to um, put it back on this really lovely clutch bag as it says Yankee Candle in the corner and inside you've got some really lovely goodies and I'm so excited because anyone that knows me knows I love candles I love Yankee Candles just love candles um, I've never actually tried any of these candles. I haven't owned any of these scents, so I'm really excited. So we've got 12 festive cocktail uh, scented tea lights. And then we've got four, I think they're called Vot... Hello, Indy. We've got four vot Votives, Voyatives. You know these things. It begins with a V. Votives? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so we've got Bundle Up. Star, Annie's and Orange. 
all is bright and sparkling cinnamon oh so excited i'm gonna have to burn some of this tonight so excited i've i've waited long enough to film this video i think i should burn them tonight so that's all the lovely things i got from them so i will go on to the next portion of things so i got a lovely amazon voucher from my granddad um with a really lovely card wishing you a merry christmas and i'm really looking forward to using this i buy off amazon a lot so this is really handy then i got a lovely scarf with giraffes on it from my auntie and uncle how lovely is this i mean i didn't put that on the best hang on <laughs> So gorgeous it's got little giraffes on it I don't know if it says it if it got a, a name on I just wanted to try and give you names of things in case uh, you wanted to know uh, I'm not too sure I'm not too sure sorry and then this really beautiful clutch bag from my auntie and uncle and this is really great because I was really needing a new clutch bag so I was so excited when I opened this and I have been using it pretty much every day since every day I've been out somewhere I've been using it um, so it's really pretty design on and then, and then just a little clasp and then a lovely string to hold it to next i'll go on to what my granny got me so she bought the family a soda machine which is so exciting because i've always wanted to try out a home soda machine um so that's really cool and it's really cool because the name is viking soda which isn't that just the best name you've ever heard it's just <laughs> It's just amazing um but i'll have to insert a picture of that because it's a bit too big for me to hold up um and she also got um uh, some chocolate coins each which i've eaten and some really lovely swedish chocolate biscuits which again we've eaten <laughs> um so um and then i've got some really lovely nail polish in some really lovely happy bright colors which is really nice and then she also got me and my mum a colouring book we both really like colouring it's very therapeutic and relaxing um and this one is called relax therapy and as always i'm gonna have to show you my colouring because i'm always very proud of my colouring and i started to do some on christmas day oh hello indy <laughs> um so here is my beautiful colouring so now I will show you what my mum got for me. First thing is um, she got each of us like a little quiz um, and I got the movie quiz and I won. <laughs> I played against Brad and I won by a few points which made me very happy. <laughs> um, yeah so there's that one and we played some of the other ones. Um, I think she got the 90s quiz, the food quiz. To be fair I'm surprised I didn't get that one um and maybe a general knowledge one i can't remember but um yeah we've got quite a few of these these are really fun to play especially on christmas eve um it's a tradition in our house to play games on christmas eve then she got me some headphones which was really great because i really needed some new headphones my headphones at the moment are that stage where you have to like hold them to your phone to get them to actually work properly um so really really needed um and they've got the cutest name they're called buddy headphones i love that and then they've also got i just noticed in my last recording of this that it's got a built-in splitter as well so you can listen with friends so that's really cool so um then my, I, i'll show you and then i'll explain so this my mum got me and my brothers this book cat sleep anywhere so basically when we were younger um i mean it's a standing joke that my mum knows the words to this one and the target that came to tea and i kid you not I tested her the other day on the target that came to tea and she knew about 98 percent of it like in the order as well and it was just mental um so yeah she she got one of these for each of us and she wrote like a li little cute message in it and it says to hannah love you always happy memories love mum um and she actually said it was really hard to find three copies of this book because it's gone out of print um so yeah that's really nice i get to get to have one of them and i can read it to my children god my my someone does not want my video film today the card keeps filling up it keeps stopping i keep getting stuff over my face but with perseverance <laughs> i was gonna say i'm gonna read you i'm gonna read you the book um don't worry it's quite short but it's just a really lovely little story cats sleep anywhere any table any chair 
top of piano window ledge in the middle on the edge <laughs> open drawer empty shoe anybody's lap will do fitted in a cardboard box in the cupboard with your frocks <laughs> anywhere they don't care cats sleep anywhere uh yeah so that's just that's a a nice little memory thing to have and then we've got some goodies in this envelope so this as well is all from my mum we've got some really lovely harry potter prints that i'm looking forward to putting on my wall so we've got one with the harry potter logo on and i think yeah that looks like the marauders map kind of print hogwarts logo with a little uh, thing of harry potter in the background the Hogwarts Express and the Yule Ball Party. I really struggled to say that last time. <laughs> and there's that one too. Can't wait to put them on my wall. It's going to look really, really good. We've got something super exciting. We have been admitted to Hogwarts. Oh, look at its owl mail post and it's got the little logo in the corner. So then we have two tickets. We've got a night bus ticket, one passenger for a single journey and London to Hogwarts for one way from platform nine and three quarters. <sighs> so exciting. And that's gonna look really great on my wall as well. And then we have a little note that says, it has come to our attention that muggles are becoming increasingly aware of owls delivering mail. It is with regret that the ministry is suspending all our posts until further notice. All letters will be delivered using muggle methods to your location. Thank you issued by the ministry of magic governing body of the magical community of great britain successor of the wizard council established 1707 authorized by hermione jane hermione jean granger for the mom headquarters in whitehall london and then it's also signed by cornelius fudge the minister of magic cornelius oswald fudge so cool and then we've got our letters so exciting so this is what it looks like got a few different things here which I will read out to you so exciting so so we've got the little Hogwarts logo Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry dear Miss H Channel Tones we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry please find enclosed a list of all necessary books and equipment term begins on September 1st we wait your hour by no later than July 31st yours sincerely Minerva McGonagall Minerva McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, available only to the intelligent, caring and creative people like you. Oh, that's sweet. Headmaster, Albus Dumbledore, Order of Merlin, First Class, Grand Sorcerer, Chief Warlock, Supreme Muggle-Wump, International Confederation of Wizards. Oh, it's a shame because Dumbledore isn't Headmaster anymore. Well, I don't know, unless maybe he's like a ghost Headmaster. Because they've got Professor Bins, don't they? As the ghost. Maybe. Don't know. So, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. List of required items. Uniform. First year students will require three sets of plain work robes. Black. One plain pointed hat. Black for day wear. One pair of protective glove, gloves. Dragon hide or similar. One winter cloak. Black with silver fastenings. Please note that all pupils' clothes should carry name tags. Course books. All students should have a copy of each of the following. The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 1 by Ma Miranda Goshawk. A History of Magic by Bathilda. Is it Bathilda or Bathilda? Bathilda. I think it's Bathilda. Bathilda Bagshot. I know how to say it out loud. I don't know. Magical Theory by Adelbert Waffling. Or Adelbert. I'm not sure. A Beginner's Guide to Transfiguration by Emmerich Switch. 1000 Magical Herbs and Fungi by Bathilda Spore. Magical Drafts and Potions by Arsenius Linner or Zigger. I'm not sure which one. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt's Commander. I have that one now. I bought the Hogwarts books book set with Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Tales of Beedle and Bard and Quidditch of the Ages, which I'm so excited to read. Um, the Dark Forces, A Guide to Self-Protection by Quentin Trimble. Other Equipment, One Wand, One Cauldron, Pewter Standard Size 2, one set glass or crystal files, one telescope, one set brass scales. Students may also bring an owl or a cat or a toad. Parents are reminded that first years are not allowed their own broomsticks. List of 
spells. Accio, summons an object to you. Expelliarmus, disarms your opponent. Expelliarmus. Fidilius, hide a secret w within someone. Fenit, Fenit incantatum, stops any current spells. Arpicium, reveals invisible ink. Alohomora, Alohomora, opens any lock. Avis, makes birds launch from your wand. Lumos, was it Lumos? I think it's Lumos. Creates light at one tip. Descendio, enlarges teeth. Protego, um, causes spells to reflect back to the sender. Use carefully. And then we've also got a magical runic alphabet, which I can't read, um, but I will show you. Feel free to pause and have a look. Hopefully you can see all that okay. And there we go. So I am accepting my place at Hogwarts. Um, I am a Hufflepuff, a proud Hufflepuff. I bought a Hufflepuff badge the other day, which makes me very happy. And then the last thing I will show you um, see what you think it is and then I'll explain. Here it is. What do you think it is? So it is a map of the Hogwarts grounds with all the signatures of the cast. How amazing is that? Like I would have never have guessed my mum got that. Like she said, she said she got me something Harry Potter related but I would never have guessed that. She said I'd never guess and she was right. <laughs> um, and I noticed Richard Griffiths signature on which um is so amazing um i was trying to see if i could find alan rickman's but i couldn't see it it's probably on there somewhere but i saw some um like jk rowling maggie smith rupert grint robbie coltrane helena bonham carter oh my gosh it's just it's just amazing so that one is going proudly on my wall sorry if i am speeding up slightly my mum's come home and we need to take our dog out for a walk um, so I do apologize. So I will move on to what my boyfriend and his family got me. So first of all, um, what his parents got me, this really incredible makeup set from the Academy of Color. Look at this. And it's got natural eyes and a smoky eyes set. Um, and I have already used this. I used this the other day. I did a little, it's, it's gone a bit fainter now. So let me re-swatch. Um, and I'll just show you the insides. Yeah, I couldn't restrain myself. Um, I had to use it, but I packaged it back up so you could get the full effect. Um, as you can see, I used the brushes and everything. <laughs> so pretty. And you've got step by steps on both sides. A load of eyeshadows at the bottom that you can take out. And I think by the looks of things, you can put it on like a Z palette or something like that. Um, I used this shade the other day, um, which I did the swatch of on this hand. I'll do it again in a minute and have a look at this shade oh my goodness look at that sparkle amazing so this gold shade is the one i wore the other day it's so good let me oh my God. look at that pigment oh so amazing um so you get uh two four six eight ten twelve 14. you get 16 eyeshadows floor glitter eyeshadows two sponge applicators, uh, two black eye pencils, two brown eye pencils, and a black and a brown liquid eyeliner, and a black and a brown mascara. Um, and I use the mascara, the black eye pencil, and the black liquid liner. Um, so I'm excited to play around with that all a bit more. Um, I really want to swatch them all, but I don't have time. So beautiful, I'm so excited to play around with all this some more. His nan and granddad, um, very kindly, I've got a card and some money in there from them. And then from his sister, her partner and children, I got some Jelly Belly, is that how I say it? Yeah, Jelly Belly Body Butter Set. How cute is this? She always amazes me. I said this the other day, like where she finds the things because they're always things I absolutely love, but like I have never seen them on the shelves before. Like I've never seen a Jelly Belly Body Butter. Like how cool is that? And it comes with French vanilla, coconut, and chocolate pudding. Oh, I especially love the chocolate pudding one. It smells so good. In fact, I've got to smell it. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Really cute set. 
ice cream lip balm wonderland how cute is that little packaging and then you get these little ice cream like lip balms inside and then they look like this with a little face and then you lift it off and then this opens up to a little lip balm and you get a red blue and green one how cute are they so unbelievably cute and then last but not least we will move on to what my boyfriend got me so one of the things i can't show you because it's in the wash because i have been living in it since i got it as so i thought like literally all day so i thought i should um probably pop it in the wash so i'll take a picture of it um and that is some really pajamas with bambi on oh my camera's flashing i better move quick and then some really lovely lush bath bombs i love lush so much um so my absolute favorite dragon's egg and then the golden wonder bath bomb which i haven't tried before so i'm excited to try that i can finally take them out of their packaging to show you my camera's probably gonna die now as well um but hey ho let's give it a go hopefully it won't won't die before i've shown you i haven't taken the thumbnail yet either so this is dragon's egg you can see it's got little flecks of color in it oh it smells so nice it's like a citrusy fresh scent it's amazing and then the other one is the golden wonder bath bomb and it looks like a little present and it's all like gold and glistening and glistening like glittery so cute so i better sign out before my camera gives up completely oh it went in my mouth <laughs> oh that wasn't oh they don't Ooh. oh okay <laughs> but i really wanted to share everything i got show my thanks to everyone um and i just wanted to show off all the lovely things that all these lovely thoughtful people got me i'm so lucky to have them all in my life i'm very lucky and i've been thoroughly spoiled and i cannot say thank you enough to these people i've just realized i probably sounded really muffled because my arm was over the mic okay sorry um i hope you have a lovely rest of the evening and rest of your week guys i hope you had a wonderful christmas and have an even better new year and i'll see you soon with another video i've got lots of ideas um i'll see you then bye guys